Okay, so I'm responding to Ashley Johnson's question. In the first part, she's talking about Syria and um, the Assad regime and how they have a lot of chemical weapons um, like mustard gas, blister agents, nerve agents, um, as well as things that they've done as recently as 2013 about attacks and missiles and that kind of thing. Um, and then the second part of the question, um, she talks about how some countries are scaling back their nuclear weapons programs while others are really trying to ramp them up and either develop nuclear weapons or strengthen their arsenal. Um, her question is, is it going to hurt us in the long run when other countries like Iran, Korea, Pakistan, and India are, quote, acquiring a nuclear arsenal? And would we be, and would we be prepared for nuclear warfare or World War III? Um, according to the Arms Control Association, um, the U.S. has 4,717 nuclear weapons um, that are either active or inactive, but that are stockpiled. Um, so these are not retired weapons. Um, also, 1,538 of them are currently deployed and are ready to be used if necessary. Um, whereas Pakistan and India each have 120, Korea has eight, and officially Iran has none. So, do I think it's going to hurt us? Maybe. Um, if we continue to scale back our programs forever, um, and we have really small numbers, yeah, it could hurt us. Do I think the likelihood of that happening is very high? No, because the U.S., as a general rule, wants to be a world power militarily. Um, would we be prepared for nuclear warfare? Absolutely. Um, the only country that has um, a relatively equal amount of nuclear weapons is Russia. Um, so if we went to war with Russia, that that would be kind of a kind of a toss up as far as who is more prepared. But if we're talking about Iran, Korea, Pakistan, and India, I think we're okay. Um, that's a really interesting question. Um, I thought of one pretty similar. So I hope that helps. Thanks.